that is probably the best. <laughs> that is the best response I've ever seen someone say online. What? Holy empanadas. <laughs> Holy empanadas. I love that. I'm gonna start using that now. <laughs> Malari to find this. Okay, so Malari, where would... He... Oh no. Oh dear. Wolfhead's making spaghetti. Wolfhead's making spaghetti. Well, good. making spaghetti! So, since I have to Probably. talk to Malari, okay, where would he be? Oh wait, he already made the spaghetti. Oh. Yeah, he post. He literally posted um, a giant spaghetti bowl with looks like a lot of ragu on it, and he just simply goes, "How do I do?" And then he tags Keyframe, going, "Please rate my pasta." Ah, oh, boy, sweetie. I think oh, yeah, I know where to find him. I'm getting messaged by Ryza right now. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking a look at this right now. Hey guys, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Diminished Cap. I'm Zelda Master, and in this episode, now that we have obtained the fire element, we're going to be making our way back to the Minish Smith. And that is a Malari or Mel. The rest to get the full blade. Wait a minute. It's still the push right. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Oh, no. How do I reset? There we are. Yes, come on. Okay, I feel dumb now. Wow, that was fast work, but not so fast that I didn't push a uh, finisher sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade the White Sword. You got the White Sword. It's beautiful white blade sparks with the light. Put away your grandfather's sword for now. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. There's so Oh much... Jesus Christ. Okay. Pressing that hit a... the... God damn. A... That was a lot of dialogue. Holy shit. Nice, and I thought the dialogue from Mega Man Battle Network 3 was too much. I heard that um there's a there's a like okay, so apparently there's a Metal Gear Solid game for the Game Boy, uh Game Boy mm -hmm. Color. And yeah, that's that's literally that. Um, they it's actually called Ghost Babble in other countries, but marketing, you know. Yeah. Which is stupid, but whatever. Um, oh. Apparently, um, I heard that the opening for um, the Metal Gear Solid game on the Game Boy has a forty-minute introduction. Wait, wait a minute, I shouldn't be asking why. It's fucking Kojima! <laughs> <sighs> oh, <d> <sighs> if I stole the Wolfhead, it'd be kind of hilarious to see you play Death Stranding, but <laughs> we both don't think you'd be up for that. <laughs> Is it, like, horror-based or something? No, it's Kojima's big game that he did after he became independent. Ah. It's the one that many people tend to usually call the walking simulator because literally all you do is just deliver packages in a post-apocalyptic world. The problem with it is that, from what I've heard, it's not a bad game. It's just that, like most of Kojima's games, it's more better as a movie than an actual video game. Didn't you say that he wanted to um, adapt um, one of his projects into a game? A movie, I mean? I think so, but I can't be so sure. 
All I do remember is that when he started, when he was when he was starting off, he wanted to be a movie director, but I think he just decided to go for video games instead. Which just kind of makes me wonder why doesn't he just become a director instead? The man makes so much cinematography elements in his games that they might as well just be movies. And not to mention, if you go on his Twitter account, he gushes a lot about movies. I mean, I can appreciate when somebody um, tries to have a more cinematic sort of thing to it. Because that became a big thing in the 90s, like, for the PlayStation and such. Mm-hmm. Uh, because, like, games are starting to become much more cinematic. Yeah, but I think the problem with Kojima is that he tends to forget that when people buy his products, they want to play a game. They don't want to... See a movie. You don't pay forty dollars. You don't pay forty to sixty dollars for a movie. That being said, he is relatively super creative. He definitely knows how to tell a story as well. That's why so many people really like the Metal Gear games. Well, except maybe Metal Gear Solid Five, but that's mainly because Konami kind of ruined everything. Yeah, I guess so. Like they, like with everything they touch. Except for Castlevania. Except for Castlevania. Although apparently there's rumors that they want to reboot Silent Hill, which is just like... Okay, if you're gonna do that, actually put effort into it, and don't just screw people over with a fucking pachinko machine. Yeah, really. God, we don't want a fucking pachinko machine. Like, you wanna do some gambling shit? Fine, let... Pretty much keep that in, keep that Japanese exclusive. We just want a fucking good horror game again. Oh. That is if Resident Evil doesn't keep uh, keep kicking their ass on there. I've lost faith with Capcom and Resident Evil. Like not so much as the lore of the games, but how they treat it. Uh, okay. Mainly, I mean, they... mainly because. Um, like, okay, so we already know about how shitty the Paul W.S. Anderson movies are. There yeah. was yet another one called, um... Welcome called? to Raccoon City? Yeah, and, like, I've already been hearing a bunch of negative shit about it. And I look at the trailer, the casting is awful, and I just have this gut feeling that they did this on purpose. Just so that they can make their point saying, See, I told you that Adept didn't follow in the games is a bad idea. No, you just he didn't put in the effort. Like, I don't know if that's the case, but there's something spiteful about that. Uh, and what's worse, it's like, dude, you could have just followed the first game. Like, it's been several years now. I think you can start adapting a story for a new generation who isn't familiar with Resident Evil. Exactly. It w like, if they don't want to do a full-fledged, like, super adaptation of the franchise, of the first game, fine. But... You can, you can make a spin-off title. You can make it a spin-off title, or you could actually just do something that at least makes people go, that's Resident Evil. Like, have the characters, have um, have some familiar characters, have a different setting, but still have the idea that the Umbrella Corporation's in the background doing shady shit. There's no such thing in your castle. You are useless! <laughs> it's like this, and I know this is kind of a sacrilege thing to say, especially to um, certain fan bases, why I tend to prefer the Silent Hill adaptation over the Resident Evil adaptation. Mm -hmm. Yes, it screwed up the plot of the movie horribly, taking... Taking what's supposed to be the simple idea of just a father going to Silent Hill with his daughter, losing her, and then going off to find her, all while trapped, and instead they adapted it with, oh, by the way, that this woman, we have a fee, a mother instead of a ma of a father figure, going off to try to find her daughter in Silent Hill, and also the cult is not the cult from the from the video game; it's some other person. Because, you know, we couldn't follow because they couldn't just do it correctly. But, one of the reasons I like the movie adaptation more better than the Resident Evil adaptation is because the movie actually looks like Silent Hill. When the, when the world transitions to the other world, you know, the creepy 
rustic, bloody atmosphere area, they actually do it very well. There are moments where it does feel like a silent, like an like an actual Silent Hill adaptation. What the fuck? It's just that. Oh, oh sorry. No, you're fine. Oh, sh what the fuck is this? So this is the elemental sanctuary, then. This is where we can infuse your blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle here. Oh, so you're going to become the Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to make a, a um, an MLP reference, but no, I think Avatar would have been far better. Okay, that's pretty cool. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Dee, 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 dee. I love that whenever somebody goes to make um, to, uh, the powers of the earth and fire elements have infused into your blade. Uh -oh. Earthquake! Um, okay. Huh, let's <laughs> see if I can't read that tab for you. Fill your sword with power and walk over the glowing tile. Hmm, perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you? Well, what are you waiting for? Try it. Said, ooh, I'm running from the lights. No, I can't sleep until I feel your touch. Just step on the glowing panels. I have! Oh! Da 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 da! Da, da, da. Okay. What? What else am I supposed to do? He stepped on the tiles twice. Yeah. What the hell, dude? No. Hmm. Let's see if I can read that tablet for you. Fill your Again. sword with the power and walk over the glowing tile. Perhaps oh. Oh, try to fill the sword with power and then go to the tile. What there the hell? Is. You just split in two, so this is the power of the white sword. I guess you can double yourself like any time. Oh, I can make a hologram. It's impressive. So try again. Yeah. I'm sorry? You're not on camera, right? No, I'm not on camera. Okay, cool. How's your stream birthday, boy? It's going good. Still no donations yet. Yeah, apparently uh, there was... Um, so, I made an order on Amazon about a week ago, and it's like part of which involves the... Um, Um, if I remember correctly, you mentioned it was a, contr a game controller, and for some apparent reason, it ended up going over balance. It wasn't a game controller. It was um, it was those uh, those mugs and a couple of drill bits because I've yet to install a uh, couple of floating shelves in the apartment. But like, I'm being charged now. Like, shouldn't you have taken care of that a week ago? It should have been taken care of a week ago. Yes. Yeah. Folks, donate to Brett so he's not a poor boy. Make him a rich birthday boy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just want to go and like cover up the overdrawn balance. Cause that's that's pretty bad. It's exactly sixty three dollars. So if all of you donated sixty three dollars, he'd be rich. But you don't have to. <laughs> donate a dollar. Yeah, Don't like even a dollar. dollar, you can actually make uh, one of those uh, text-to-speech messages. I'm just touching you. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, I think I think what you should do is um, no, 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 go back down. Oh, okay. Go back down. I think yeah, what I you should do I'm is that see. go in one of the panels. Uh huh. Charge up the sword. Oh. That way, you can have two of you, so you can end up stepping on the position. And then just go down. Oh. Okay, that's doing something cool. Like, I remember doing something like that in Mega Man Battle Network. I don't remember which game, but I remember that was a thing. But we need a key. 
puzzle solving is still fun when you know when you're able to figure it out. As soon as you gain power, those are the next nation is hidden inside the Hyrule Castle towards the exit. Uh, the mind as you were heading towards the Cave of Flames. Da da da. Okay, so I. All right, so I got that. Uh, I'd like to make a note about the Kinstone fusions from this point forward. Many of the characters throughout Hyrule include some of the Minish um, here of the Malari's Mine and fuse Kinstones with you. If you walk up to a character and bubble um, appears next to them, this means you can fuse them. Okay. Almost completely random. You'll be able to find Kinstones with some characters of points in the game and prizes that are rewarded are random. In some cases, you can fuse um, Kinstones with multiple times or with a single character. Okay. About that side, you trip the ledge at the bottom, make your way, um... Oh yeah, that's right, you can use the cane to, uh, jump over certain areas. Okay, so I got that, alright. Oh, so there's gonna be Pegasus Boots, okay. No, 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 just roll. You oh. take the veil, you take the dive. Thoughts on the new generations. You mean MLP? I still have yet to work on the review of a uh, new generation. It's perfectly um, fine. You can take your time with it. Yeah, I know. There's always those people who are like, Wait, why are you now doing it? It was like released a while ago. Shut up. I mean, to be fair, that's not really a problem. Like... It's not really a problem of how long you take to do a review of something. It's more or less of how you execute it. What the fuck? Vaddy? Oh, it's, it's you Batty. again, Vaddy. And, as always, you're dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. Hey, works for me, buddy. My curses uh, are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should have never created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool! A hat that grants the wishes of the wearer is a spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I have gone from being a meek, a minuscule nothing, to the greatest sorcerer alive. You cannot stop me now, and I have uh, you to thank for it. Except the small gesture of gratitude from me. Wait, Vanny, wait. Oh. Shit. <laughs> oh, I have to make a clone of yourself and then fight them. Well, fuck. Damn it. Oh, that takes care of him. That's funny. Like, as soon as they, like, they're both charging towards me, I just move down, and they just pass <laughs> over each other. <laughs> Amazing. Foul Vatty. That foul Vatty. What could he possibly be scheming now? Goldie, I feel like I owe you an explanation of what has happened. You see, Vatty and I are both Minish. I was once a famous sage and renowned Minish craftsman. Fadi was only a boy when I took him as my apprentice, but he became enchanted by the wickedness and hearts of men. One day, Fadi took a hat I made for the humans, my pride and joy, granted the wishes of his wearer, and he put it on without permission. Story time! Oh, Adorable before he became evil! Fadi, what are you doing here? Oh. Jesus Christ! Oh, what a vile form you've taken. Vile, I am a sorcerer now, and my power is beyond compare. None can stop me! Why, Vaddy? What are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes, but once a century, a portal opens, and when it does, I shall claim the light force as my own. I will be transformed, perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. Oh, so the eclipse from, um, Berserk? No, ah! wait, that's fucked up. Never mind. <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? There's nothing you can do to break it, Elzo. 
or to stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. Oh, what a little shit. What a bastard. God, that has to suck. Thank <laughs> you.